Okay, 125th Street. Before I established this shop, I was working for Fortune 500 companies as an IT specialist. I used to work at different salons throughout New York City. Wardrobe styling for the entertainment business. I was recently released from prison. I did bookkeeping. I was a high school history teacher, but I kind of was never truly happy there. My name is Yukiko Sato. My name is Karen Tappan Saunderson. George Williams. Karen Vandenberg. Lupe Moreno. Bridget King. Hi, I'm Kay from IE Treats, and my business is a late night dessert delivery service that focuses on the Morningside Heights neighborhood. IE Treats, this is Kay. And it's the only one in New York City, probably the world. Mooster King's Essentials is located here on 125th Street and Lenox Avenue. We have all kind of products to help you look good, feel good, and smell good. Waalaikum salam, brother. How you doing? Actually, I believe entrepreneurship is in my blood. Excuse me. How you doing, sister? Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. How can I help you today? I always wanted to have a business because my father is a business owner in my father's family and my mom's family. I was always in love with the thought of being the boss, but not necessarily working for myself. My original business was a care package delivery service. We transitioned from that business to Karen's Body Beautiful because we felt we could make very good products for the market. I'd been open for a few months and after spending long days and nights making my products at home, and bringing them to the store, I decided that the best way to make the business more efficient would be to build a kitchen in the store. And we budgeted that build out and we were a few thousand dollars short. And that just happened to be around the same time that I saw the ad for Project Enterprise. I learned about Project Enterprise uh, from being handed a flyer on the street. I happened to attend uh, a seminar in the state building that they were offering for people that were trying to start businesses. My first loan from Project Enterprise actually helped me get inventory to help me grow my business. I did have trouble getting funding through traditional methods because of my credit. My business is King's Pet Care Services and Supplies. The New York Business Solutions, they had a seminar for financing and it was a group of eight different organizations, but Project Enterprise was the best one for me. Once I decided to go into business for myself, I went on the web looking for an organization that would help me to get a startup loan. I thought of going to a bank at first, but they were a little higher in interest. I did my research and came across Project Enterprise. I realized that they not only give you startup loans, they also teach you about running a business. There are two reasons why most businesses fail within the first three to five years. One is lack of managerial experience. The other one is lack of access to capital. So when I first came to Project Enterprise, there's a training program that you have to go through, and it consists of six weeks, learning about the policies and procedures. You learn to fill out a loan application. You learn to do the beginning phases of a business plan keeping good records, networking. It helps you to focus on what's necessary to succeed in business. When you go into an enterprise, it is more than just selling and buying and going home with the money. It has rules, it has taxes, it has all kinds of things. The funding aspect isn't why I'm there, and it wasn't why I signed up in the first place. It's great to have that, and I guess it helps draw other people in, but I actually think the skills you learn are worth more. For me, as an entrepreneur, it's extremely important to be connected to like-minded people. This actually becomes your support group. And so I have a network of people who have helped support me and continue to support me all as a result of me coming to Project Enterprise. And not only the people who are connected to Project Enterprise through entrepreneurship, but people outside of Project Enterprise, they connect you with larger organizations, larger businesses, so that your vision can be expanded as far as how you can grow. The most helpful part of Project Enterprise was the peer lending group five other business owners who could understand what I was going through in terms of the challenges and the successes. It was almost 
as though I had my own board of directors that I could bounce ideas off of, you know, whenever I, I needed to. I Eat Treats has been in business for about 18 months, and we're still growing. We've been here for six years. I've had this business for eight years now. We have two part-time employees and one seamstress working at home. Including the spa staff that I recently hired, about 15 people on staff. I have 10 employees. I knew if I can do that job for Fortune 500 companies, that I could open up a business so my community can gain access to IT, education, and computer services. I have many people who work with me from the neighborhood. Some are not from the neighborhood, but you know, I hire people based on instinct and experience. And then sometimes they become like what I call a team member. And so I have some sales reps who come in shifts and they work the table you know, with some training. What I uh, target is to hire from the community and work with various internship programs. I've been a member of Project Enterprise for many years now, and for the last three years, I've been uh, elected the Bronx Center Leader. If it wasn't for others, I wouldn't be here myself. I had to get help many times, and Project Enterprise was one of my main resources. So I just like to open my arms to other entrepreneurs and help as much as possible with their paperwork, with obtaining loans. So that motivates me to stay active in Project Enterprise. Project Enterprise is an organization that helps people that want to be able to develop a business out of a passion or out of anything that they think that they will be able to make it and gives you the steps on how to do it. The business is great. It's getting better every year. And the grooming, it's just off the charts. Right now, we are selling at Amazon.com and Etsy.com and my own website called Tesage.com. 50% is online and 50% is offline. And offline means we are participating in young designers market and high-end craft shop. Business is really tough, but uh, because we focus on the online and even though our sales was reduced, profit margin is the highest ever. So Michael Lender, they're like a more family, and not like a bank, and they always care about the business, and they try to negotiate or try to find a good solution. So that's really helped. It gave me skills, and I didn't have the discipline that P taught me. The hope for IE Treats is right now, at the end of the summer, to roll out a delivery vehicle, which for someone who doesn't want to invest in a location, it will serve as advertising. Because with my logo, because it's so awesome, I'll put it on the vehicle and it'll be parked in front of Columbia during the daytime. And if you see something during the day that's for desserts, what are you gonna want at night? Had I not run into Project Enterprise back in 2002, I can tell you my life would probably be completely different. Uh, during that time, growing up in the South Bronx, many economic challenges. I really don't think I would be where I am today. And certainly, it would have been a much harder journey. Anytime I, I mention my business, Project Enterprise is always in there because they, they've been so great. I say it's the best $10 I ever spent. I've spoken to many people, and sometimes they're customers, and sometimes they're people that walk in off the street, and they're not interested in my products, but they just want to know how I did it. And when I talk to them about their idea and I let them know that there is an organization, it's called Project Enterprise. They will give you the technical support and the information you need to get your idea off the ground. And when you're ready to apply for a loan, you can do that. That does, and I know I've spoken to people who have let me know that that took them from a place where it was just an idea that they never thought that they could ever you know, bring to fruition to someone who's actually living it. It is no doubt in my mind that uh, most, if not all, of these things would not exist had I not stepped through the door of Project Enterprise because they're all connected. And I just thought about that the other day, like, wow, all because I'm a member of Project Enterprise, I'm connected to all of these things. <laughs>